from Newsnet and CCTV. It's high school hockey coming to you from the Wex in Cadillac. All right, welcome back everybody to our post game show. Jeff Castillo here with uh, my lovely assistant, lovely, <laughs> lovely Mark Tonello, helping us out tonight. Uh, Bill Dooley couldn't make it, obviously. So. Uh, uh, but we, we were treated with a pretty good game tonight, actually. Uh, you know, the, the score might have indicated a little bit closer game than it really was as far as play goes, as Gaylord uh, carried quite a bit of the play. But, uh, you know, you you got you to gotta put it in the net well, to uh, win games, and Gaylord was able to come up with a couple big goals there in the third period to do that. Well, Veda Voss, the thanks to her, the Gaylord statistician, she kept track of shots for us, and she tells us that the final shot total was 30 to 14 for Gaylord. So in that third period, they had the edge of nine to five, and uh, you know they made a couple of them count. Um, the goals in the game there were five goals in the game, and so uh, the scoring was like this. Uh, the first goal was Cadillac, and that was uh, uh, Fisher Moore from uh, Brian Farley and Ian Lilly. Uh, then uh, Gaylord tied it up one to one, and that was um, Colton Hurst from uh, Connor Bradfield. And then Cadillac took the lead again, and that was uh, Nath or Fisher Moore from Brian Farley. And then Gaylord tied it up again, and that was Nate Kleinsorge unassisted. And then Gaylord, uh, the, the uh, game winner, Connor Bradfield from Brad Keen and Ty Pecan. Okay, and, uh, and that was a power play goal. Yeah, that was a power play goal. You know, uh, not a lot of penalties called during nope. this game. Um, you know, with, with Cadillac, we're used to seeing a lot of penalties and everything. I think they... Uh, they kind of made an effort uh, or a focus towards staying out of the penalty box. For the most part, they did a good job. But, boy, as soon as Gaylor got a penalty uh, or power play opportunity, you know, they made the Vikings pay. What was that? Uh, it was a matter of seconds. Seven. It was seven yeah, seconds. Yeah, seven seconds. So they didn't waste any time and pr pretty efficient power play. The other thing you've got to give Gaylor credit for is they were without uh, their senior captain, Sam Gorno, tonight. Uh, he was injured. And uh, he will be back, uh, in case anyone didn't hear. Um, he was injured uh, this past weekend. Uh, he's feeling pretty good. We saw him tonight. We talked to him a little bit. He's doing well. He'll be back in action here before the end of the season. Uh, but give Gaylor credit. They had to battle back, and they had to make some adjustments. They had some folks playing positions they don't normally play. Yep. Um, Change the chemistry of the lines up and yep. everything a little bit. I know that was one of the coach's concerns. Yep, so they were able to able to find a way. So congratulations to them for a nice uh, – Big North Conference victory. Yeah, and good to hear that Sam is okay and, uh, you know, going to get some doctor clearance here pretty soon and, and be right back on the ice. I know I know his team is going to really want him there for the uh, the playoff push, which is right around the corner. So they're up in the uh, Region uh, 18 uh, bracket with Tawa, Sault Ste. Marie. They've got Alpina and Sheboygan up there, and they've had good luck with all those teams. Uh, they've beat... Sault Ste. Marie, they've beat Tawas, um, they've beat Sheboygan. The only team they have uh, haven't beat is Alpena, but they had a couple close games with them. So, um, you know, they're looking forward to a, a good playoff run, and hopefully they'll have their number 10 there, Sam Gorno, for that. So uh, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for tonight. This is Jeff Castillo with uh, Mark Tonello, and this is Newsnet Sports and, 20, and <laughs> CCTV. Thank you, and good night. Good night.